digital printing or direct to garment printing has revolutionized the ability to print colorful images and complex designs quickly and affordably. In the case of screen printing, color separation, setup times, and the number of colors involved make printing complex and photographic imagery on deep fabric is very costly and time-consuming. DTG makes simulating the printing process very fast and affordable because the art file is printed directly onto the apparel item being decorated using inkjet technology, similar to a home or office paper printer. In this video, I gonna show you the complete process of printing a garment or t-shirt in a DTG printer. Mainly, three steps involved in DTG printing. 1. Pre-treatment. 2. Printing on a DTG printer. 3. Finishing. Step 1. Pre-treatment. Pre-treatment is like adding a primer before you paint. It helps the ink adhere better to the t-shirt or other garment. You can print without pre-treatment, but it negatively impacts the vividness of the print and the washability. There are two ways to apply pre-treatment. Hand spray. For manual pre-treating, you can use the sprayer to spray the pre-treatment onto the garment as evenly as possible using a smooth back and forth motion. Pre-treat machine. This is Sublister automatic pre-treatment machine. With this machine, you can fix the amount of pre-treat chemical that is sprayed. The process only takes a moment and is consistent every time. Load your shirt into the tray and adjust the pre-treatment area, then press the button to have the pre-treat spread onto it. Use a scrap on the surface of the cloths to make the pre-treatment liquid more even. Finally, dry the pre-treat garments on a heat press machine. Fix the temperature of heat press 160 degrees centigrade for 1 to 2 minutes. The ratio of pre-treatment solutions for white and dark color garments are different. Step 2. Printing on a DTG printer. For printing, I am using a sublister DTG printer one of the most cost-effective printers with more details and accurate color quality. Place the garment without any folds or wrinkles on the printer platen. Direct-to-garment printers generally require a specialized software package called a raster image processor to print properly. Through this software, you can print any image or complex design perfectly. First, select the image that you want to print. Then you have to select the size and shape specific area where you want to print your design. After selecting the color mode, you can also calculate the cost of ink for printing, which will help you to fix the pricing of your garments. After setting the image, just press the print and you get the print identifier here. Open the printer control software and select the file and then play start. Then the printer will start printing the garments automatically with help of inkjet technology. A series of print heads pass back and forth across the fabric spraying dye stuff onto it. A printer driver using a digital version of the design as reference controls which color is printed and when. This printer can print high-quality images up to 2400 dpi. Step 3. Finishing your garment. When the printer is done printing the t-shirt, you will need to cure the garment to set the inks to ensure maximum washability. Typical cure times range from 60 to 120 seconds at 160 degrees centigrade. Some garments may allow you to cure at slightly higher temperatures for shorter periods of time.
Not only t-shirts, you can also print hoodies, shirts, underwear, jeans with this printer. This video is sponsored by Sublister Tech. Sublister Tech provides a complete solution for DTG and DTF printing of small to big scale of production. They have been developing digital inkjet printers for 13 years, one of the most innovative companies in this industry. They offer complete solutions for inkjet printing on cotton, polyester, viscose, silk, or any fabric and garments. We will link Sublister Tech info into the description. We hope you guys enjoyed this video again. If there is any questions that we didn't cover, let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe.